Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wolfstalker25, and today I'm bringing you guys another action figure review on the newly released Marvel Legends Infinity Saga Ironmonger and Obadiah Stane 2-pack. This is an Iron Man 1 figure bundle set of these two figures. It does roughly go for about 70 bucks to 73, maybe a little under 70 if you could find it for like maybe 65 or something. Not really sure. Um, I did pick up mine at Target. I do know it is available on Big Bad Toy Store for pre-order and several other places probably for buying or pre-order as well. So if you do want to pick up this thing up, uh, I will say I do highly recommend it if you are an Iron Man fan or just an MCU fan in general and you want more villains because this set is awesome and I love it so far. So let's get into it. We have a ton of accessories. We have this big beast of a figure back here. We have this awesome little guy down here for Obadiah. But these are the accessories you get for Ironmonger. So you get a set of fists that are currently on him right up there. And then you also get a set of open grabbing, like a more grabbing hand and then a more open y style hand. Um, as well, some other accessories you get is you get a chain belt right here with the really nice gold paint on it. Um, and that is very nice, as well as the bullets looking like they're shooting out all over the place. You get a cool little smoke effect as well, which has a little peg hole there. Um, you get one of your classic repulsor blast and then yeah everything else that's molded in right yeah and then you also get a little detachable missile launcher up here Oop. accidentally pulled that out didn't want to do that but yeah there's a little detachable missile launcher up here we'll show more in detail on that i'm not going to pull it off right now um and then for obadiah for the accessories you get a iron man arc reactor from his like model one arc reactor from that scene from the awesome scene in the movie where he takes it out of tony's chest and leaves him there to die um and you get a little briefcase as well nothing in it just opens and closes just a black briefcase so it's very nice so we're gonna take a look at obadiah here first and yeah i think the head sculpt is pretty good um, just basically one of your suited bodies I think this is the same torso as the Loki um, that recently came out I think I don't know whose legs these are but definitely a new head sculpt everything else might be reused somewhere but the legs do seem better like he's got better feet he stands way better um, he's got a cool little detail of his ring there on one finger and the other one just a normal hand. Um, he doesn't have any extra accessories for himself. No alternate head sculpts or hands. I kind of wish he would have had a screaming head um, for that scene where he said Tony Stark built this in a cave, you know, a suit and everything. Uh, but it would have been really cool to get something like that. But yeah, pretty good. We'll get into a... Actually, let's just do a height check really quick on Obadiah. See how tall he stands. So, Obadiah is just over six inches tall. So... Uh, let's do articulation on Obadiah really quick. Head looks up that much. Down that much. Beard gets in the way a little bit. Um, the arms do go... They do do a full 360, so they do actually do that. And they get this far up, so actually pretty good. Um, does have an upper bicep cut. Double jointed elbows get you close that much. And then the hands do have a hinge and do swivel. Um, uh, they have the same hinge. Okay. Uh, does have ab crunch, so forward that much. Back. You can get on back that much, but the jacket does get in the way. Um, does have a nice like tie detail. Uh, does have waist swivel. Upper thigh cut, legs do go forward that much, and back that much. Double jointed knees, basically could kick his own butt. Um, ankles go back that far, down that far, and he does have a good ankle pivot. So, gotta fly through this, because we do have two figures that we're reviewing here today. So, Obadiah, there we go. 
put him off to the side. Now, let's get to this monster of a figure. The Iron Monger suit. This thing is awesome. It is a just a ridiculously good improvement over the previous one. I am so happy Hasbro did this. I was afraid that we were just going to get a redo of the same old body just with new paint. But no, this is entirely new. 100% new figure. This is a beautiful figure. Um, if you're a fan of Iron Man, Iron Man villains, it, this thing is just MCU, just awesome figure. So here's a little rocket up top. Get a closer look at that. Some nice mold, sculpt, and paint on there. Um, yeah, let's, let's look at him a little bit more. So he's got the machine gun on that side, the missile launcher on this side, all very nice. Let's look at the articulation. So we got the head. It does, I got to get under it, does get that far up. So, with the back, you could get him in that flying pose. Um, that far down, he does have some nice tilt in there as well. These things do pull out up top, so you can pull those out to extend with the shoulders to cover them. Um, that, I think, yeah, this also does come off the back. Um, the little rocket launcher up top there does also come off. So, um, let's see. Let's do the chest articulation. So, he's got a nice ball or something in there. And it gets some pretty good movement. It does get a little stuck on some spots, so be careful that you don't nick up or bend your figure or dent them all anywhere. Um, so, it gets a little bit of that. So, good to the side, good back, good down good side to side a little bit shoulders do go up that far does get a full 360 actually no you can't get a full 360 so I take that back you can get a full 360 if this is taken out so these little hinges do peg into here and there if you take that out you get a full 360 if you don't you could only go up that far and you could go let's see oh we're stuck so you could go forward that much comfortably without it pulling out you could go back about that far but you're gonna bend it um he does have a upper bicep cut as well uh single jointed elbow only gets up that high a little bit of a bummer obviously you wish you could get more but i i mean this is a big bulky figure and this is a big bulky suit it's like a prototype so wrists do hinge and they do have a swivel on both there's the same hinge on both of them um the obviously the abs do go side to side the legs go do go up that far back that much be careful with this bit because this is very soft plastic you don't want to screw that up upper thigh cut double jointed or not double jointed knees single jointed knee does go back that much and then the ankles do go forward that much back that much and he's got a little bit of pivot in there not a ton but he's got a little bit for what this guy does so yeah awesome awesome figure i highly like even if you don't care about obadiah this iron monger is an amazing figure and i would definitely recommend not missing out on it it is awesome let's check a height check on him he does stand just under right about at nine inches tall so we got your obadiah let's do a quick size comparison with obadiah so we got our obadiah stain and we got our iron man first 10 years robert downey tony stark so very nice next to each other i really wish we'd get a better tony um but the height difference i feel like he's a little too short I can know Obadiah was taller, I think, but I feel like that's too much of a difference. But yeah, there we go with him. Um, as well as, let's do him next to the Iron Man Mark III. 
So here, or not, yeah, Mark three. So Mark three and Obadiah. Obadiah is shorter as he should be because he's an armor now. So there we go. Um, we'll just do a couple of quick other ones really fast. So then Star Wars Black Series Captain Rex. Power Ranger. We'll do our Jazz Wars Halo Master Chief. And then we'll do Mezco Iron Man. And we'll get in Figma Samus in there. Obviously shorter. Um, so yeah, I'm, that's all the size comparisons I'm going to do with Obadiah. A lot of people probably aren't getting this set for Obadiah. They're probably primarily getting it for the Iron Monger. And he is a big boy. Um, let's take a look really quick. Let's do a quick zoom out. Look at this difference. Yeah. That's what you get when you go like 10, 15 years after, or almost 15 years after this figure releases. Yeah, that's 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 some difference right there. And then let's take a look with the main man, Iron Man and Iron Monger together. And wow, do those look cool? You could get. This guy's so big, you could get Iron Man up on that, like, digging around on his back thing. Um, let's do one more cool comparison really quickly. So, these are the old, you know, Iron Man waved figures that were not Marvel Legends, but made by Hasbro. So, look at this comparison here. Yeah. Those are way better. And they're both part of the same series slash wave or whatever you want to call them that they came from. So there's your height comparison with Iron Man and Iron Monger. Here's your height comparison with the Mezco Iron Man. As well as your Power Ranger Lightning Collection, Dino Thunder. Star Wars The Black Series, Captain Rex. Halo Master Chief. And then put him next to the unarmored Iron Man. So get a look at those. And then let's see some other. Do we got any other big guys that we could bring out? Here he is next to your deluxe Thanos. Way bigger than him. Thanos looks like a little guy. Your Mafex Batman. Oh, Batman's down. He cannot stand up to the awesome might of the Iron Monger. Alright, last two. Rebel Tech All Might. And you know All Might towers over everyone else in these videos. And then your Figma Samus. Just look at that. He's, this guy, he's a monster. He is awesome. So, all right, final thoughts on these guys. Yeah, go and go and get this set. Um, I know it's a little pricey, so you might be able to get it on a on a sale at some point. Uh, I would imagine this will probably at least drop down to forty at some point. So, if you do want to wait on it a little bit, I don't blame you. Um, I'm just such a big Iron Man fan, and I had to get this set and get it earlier so uh yeah i i'm well not earlier i probably got it later than most people but yeah this is just such a cool set and i highly recommend it you're well worth getting the money out of it with how big and awesome the iron monger is so definitely a very good figure the sculpt is awesome the paintwork is awesome on him obadiah is just another awesome figure to get Another villain and bad guy in the series. And just another cool, like, you know, suited body figure to add to the collection for the MCU. So, awesome, awesome figures. Definitely rate, highly, highly, you know, rate this set and um, uh, everything about it. It's 
it's just awesome. Awesome. So if you do get a chance to get it, I do recommend it. Well worth the money. Well worth the investment for the figures on the shelf. Um, other than that, hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully you did enjoy the review. Uh, hopefully you like the figure. Let me know in the comment below. Are you going to pick up this set? If you did pick up the set, do you like it? Do you not like it? Or if you are going to pick up the set, do you not like it? Do you like not like it? What's your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Other than that, if you haven't already, would always appreciate a like and subscribe down below. It does help out the channel a lot, and I do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, you can also go over to Twitter and follow me on there, where I keep you up to date with all the stuff I'm doing and all the figures I collect and get and when they come in. Uh, so I do post photos over there on them. And uh, if you do want to follow the main YouTube channel where I do all the gameplay, you can do that as well. So, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Hopefully you are enjoying the start of what I'm calling Iron Man Week. This is the Tuesday video, and I will see you all on Wednesday for our next review of this guy. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.